these protectors of the land are heading deep into the Rohini Ranges, northeast of Apiti Manawatu, on a special mission to protect the elusive and endangered field duck. A couple of boys. If they look familiar, you're on the money. The Fio duck can be found on our $10 note. They're an endemic duck, meaning they're only found in New Zealand, and they're the only duck in the world that whistles instead of quacks. You know, we're protecting you. There's only a few species of torrent duck in the world. Blue ducks, these Fio are their only place in the world that they exist. And there's only two and a half to 3,000 estimated in existence in New Zealand, in the world. So they're a pretty threatened species. Their numbers are way lower than kiwi, for example. It's specially adapted to live in these rivers. It has a rubbery bill that um, can get under rocks and, and find the invertebrates that live under rocks. Uh, they're fiercely territorial. They occupy about one to one and a half kilometres of river. Their population is isolated to the high country of New Zealand, and they're picky too choosing only the most pristine of environments. If you ever see the little ducklings on the river, they're amazing. You know, little fluffy blobs bouncing along in the rapids. You know, they're an inspirational species and they're a symbol of our beautiful, clean rivers. However, on land, they're a target for an easy feast. I say the main predator of the pheo duck is the stoat. So the stoat is highly attracted to the smell of a pheo, and especially when there's a female sitting on the nest. So they'll roll the eggs out, steal the eggs, and possibly kill the female as she seeks to defend her nest. So that's when they're at their most vulnerable. Once they're out on the water here, it's much harder for a stoat to get them. And the little ducklings are on the water straight away, but while they're on the land, it's the stoat, is the main predator for a, for a fear duck. That's a huge rat. It was a huge rat. Ruahini fear protectors have traditionally used one kill box traps, but now as technology improves, there's multi kill traps on the market. Oh, so this is a good nature A24 trap for rats and stoats. This trap kills, it can go on killing rather than one of those box traps over there which uh, only can kill once until someone comes along and, and takes the dead thing out of it. So these are fantastic. So let's check, see if it's still firing. The gas cylinder on this. Yeah, it's still firing. The gas cylinders last quite a long time. So I'll just change the bait and um, be good to go. But these traps are only as good as the volunteers who refresh and reset them and they're in short supply. Now that's a um, chaff hunch. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. Chattering away there. Down this end of the ranges I'd welcome any new volunteers who'd like to come out and help. This is a community project. It's a great way to get people involved in conservation, teach them about conservation, get young people involved in conservation. But you do need to be a reasonably competent capable person to come into this environment. I'd love to see people who hunt in the area and more trampers. We call it applied tramping, tramping, when, tramping with a purpose. Rangawahia locals Steve and Mary Bowski are one of many dedicated volunteers fighting for the FIO. They patrol a 14 kilometre loop that goes deep beyond the Rangawahia hut. I'll say it again, I've never caught so many stoats as in this few hundred metres. Now this one's a lot fresher and not very old at all. So that's the third stoat but for some unknown reason in this alpine they are um, quite prolific which is quite a concern because I just keep catching them. Oh he's a bit older than I thought. Big boy? Yeah he's a big boy. He's a big, he's a big stoat. He would eat uh, quite a bit of protein to sustain him. But this is what the project's about, uh, catching the pest predators before they get into here and giving the duck a chance. And, uh, but I believe we're on the right end of the, um, of the equation. I believe things are picking up and we just keep at it. It's a, a wonderful adventure, it's, it's rewarding and um, it has multiple 
uh, consequences because it's not only the blue duck but there's the uh, the tuis and the, and the pigeons and the uh, and the billbirds and the grey warblers and also there's um, whiteheads and tomtits and someone has said that they are basically the canaries in the mines. Mary is a self-described bird enthusiast who until today had never seen the Fio in person. But the whole journey from Alice Nash Hart down through this amazing beach forest with the fabulous flora and then coming down and onto the Arua River and then seeing these blue duck, it's just been such a special day. Just so special. So, um, yeah, funny, eh? Here I've been up here all these years and never seen a blue duck out in the wild. A duck that whistles instead of quacks that needs conservation to help its perpetuation. Alexander Robertson, Local Focus.